Now we'd like to show you a video message from Mr. Pam Chang from AstraZeneca. Hello, everyone. It is an honor to join you at this important session, connecting policymakers, academia, nonprofit institutions, and the industry. My reflections today will focus on accelerating this transition to net zero and resilient health systems. I am pleased that so many of us share a passion for this critical topic and would like to pay particular thanks to the Health and Global Policy Institute and the Nagasaki University for convening us. It is becoming increasingly recognized that the health of our planet and the health of people are deeply interconnected. Each year, nearly 14 million people die from environmental health risks, including 7 million from air pollution alone. At AstraZeneca, we are seeing firsthand that the climate crisis is the largest public health crisis of our time. It is also a health equity crisis. With the most vulnerable population bearing the highest burden, we must act today and we must act together. Firstly, we need to take immediate action to strengthen the resilience of our health systems so that they can cope with the mounting pressures of the climate's impact on health, including the rise in non-commutable diseases. In parallel, we must take drastic action to reduce greenhouse gas emissions, including those from healthcare sector, which emits around 5% of global emissions. And partnership is critical. We need bold collaboration across public and private sectors if we are to truly address the scale of the challenge ahead. We must hold hands across borders, learn from each other. This has been the guiding principle behind the Partnership for Health System Sustainability and Resilience, which aims to strengthen health systems around the world through evidence-based policy change. Since we launched this partnership in 2020 with the economic, uh, World Economic Forum and the London School of Economics, it has grown and we are now working with over 30 countries. I'm very pleased to say that Japan is leading the way here with its policy conclusions closely aligned with the recommendations of the G7 Global Health Task Force. It has been an honor to partner with preeminent researchers, including Professor Masahiro and Hashizume to support resilience of the Japanese health systems. Although we started this work during the COVID-19 pandemic, the solutions we aim to advance were strengthen health systems in the face of other public health crises, such as climate change. And while we know that climate is impacting our health, our sector is also impacting the climate. That's why accelerating net zero healthcare is so critical. Through our Ambition Zero Carbon program, we are driving deep decarbonization across our operations and value chain. We were one of the first seven companies globally to have our targets verified by the gold standard, SPTI. I am proud that we are on track to reduce emissions from our global sites and fleet by 98% by 2026. We are also focused on halving our total emissions across our value chain by 2030 and becoming net zero by 2045. As part of our global commitment, AstraZeneca Japan has taken both drives, including leveraging the latest digital innovations. A shining example is how we have converted paper leaflets inside our medicines to e-leaflets for all of our products. For AstraZeneca, it reduced costs, simplify operations, and saves 180 tons of waste and 30 million sheets of paper every year. This is the equivalent of 4,500 trees. This move to align to the Japanese government's regulation change to switch from paper insert to digital first. We are truly impressed by Japan leading the way here and are using this as a best practice in other key markets. In addition, through our leadership of the Sustainable Market Initiative Health System Task Force, convened by AstraZeneca CEO Pascal Sorio, and initially launched by His Majesty King Charles III, we are convening global healthcare companies and major players like the WHO to work together to accelerate the transition to net zero health systems. We have jointly identified three priority areas to partner on, supply chain, patient care pathways, and digital health. These areas are critical to both 
carbonization and strengthening health systems. All of these endeavors underscore one conclusion, that building resilience and accelerating net zero healthcare are two sides of the same coin and can only be achieved through joint actions. We are grateful to our government, academic, NGOs, and private sector partners for their vital collaboration. And I'm hopeful that our concerted and collaborative efforts and a large dose of optimism, we can build a bright and healthy future. Thank you for listening, and I wish you the very best for the rest of today's important discussion.